Hello and welcome back to another Lordington video and today we're just going to be doing one of those how-to videos like I did a couple of videos ago. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can easily record your screen, gameplay or whatever on a computer that doesn't have a super fancy dedicated graphics card. So I'm going to be showing you this on my laptop which has a Intel Core i3 7th gen, I think it's a 7100U, let me just check here. Yeah, an i3 7100U at 2.4 gigahertz. Two cores, but with four threads, as you can see here. It has Intel HD Graphics 630, I believe. So, the screen recorder that I usually use is uh, one called OBS. If you don't have it, uh, just go ahead and Google OBS. Uh, it's, it should be one of the first links to come up. It goes, I think, called the uh, Open Broadcaster Software Project or something like that. Click on there, and there should be a download page where you can download it. Uh, and yeah, once you've downloaded it, uh, you should get something like this. Although uh, it probably will look more like this. And I believe it comes up an auto configuration wizard like this usually. Um, now you can actually just uh, click cancel on here and I'm going to show you the more advanced way of setting up rather than using the wizard. Uh, so first of all what you want to do is you want to go to output, go to recording, uh, make sure you're on standard, uh, you can set wherever you want to record to. I suggest uh, maybe having like an external drive or something that has a lot of storage. Uh, recording format doesn't really matter. Um, that's up to you. I have mine on MP4 because it's uh, easy to open, move around, edit, and stuff. Uh, now, encoder, you should see something that says Quick Sync H264. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select that, and that's going to use uh, the processor's video encoder on the iGPU it has. Now, if you don't see Quick Sync, it's probably because your processor might be a little too old, and like it's likely that it doesn't support Quick Sync. If you're unsure about that, you can easily find out information about that by googling your processor's name. Like for me, it'll be Core i3 7100U into Google with uh, Quick Sync compatibility, and that should give you the answer. Then. Uh, you want to go down here to where it says target usage and I suggest you put it on either somewhere between probably maybe slow and then to very fast. I bid you to experiment this with this because your processor is very likely to be different to mine in uh, how it deals with it. But yeah, something around here should work. And then profile, you should probably put that on high. I'll go down to uh, keyframe interval. Now, uh, change this to zero, and then click apply, and OBS should uh, either change it for you, as I've already done this, and it set it to three. And then we go to async depth, which I have as four. Uh, rate control, I have it set as CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, which here is that constant bitrate right here. I have it at 10,000 kilobits per second, which is the probably the best for any 720p recording. If you're only doing 30 FPS, you could probably get about doing maybe 8,000, 7,000 kilobits per second, but anything lower than that, it will probably not look very nice, if you ask me. Then uh, B-Frames, I have that set as 2. And this content adaptive quantization should be already on. I don't know what exactly that does, but I leave it on and it seems to work fine. Uh, then we go down to video here. We can go ahead and select uh, our canvas resolution, which is uh, this area here. I currently have that set to 720p, as that is what I'm recording at. An output scaled resolution is what your recording would will be at. So I have it at, at 720p as well. Downscale filter. 
this is for if you're recording something which is uh, lower resolution than your canvas and output resolution. And this basically is where OBS tries to upscale it, and these are its algorithms. Uh, I have it set as by qubit, I think that's the default OBS puts it on. Now, I recommend you don't change this unless you do have a fancy graphics card, if you see what I mean. And then down here, we can set our frame rate for our recording. Uh, I suggest you just keep it at common FPS values and not really play with the others. Uh, they're quite advanced. Uh, here you can select the exact frame rate you want. I have mine at 60 FPS because that's what I usually record at. If you're having issues or it's very jittery recording, uh, change it to 30 FPS. Another thing here in audio, uh, what I recommend you doing is changing 44.1 kHz sample rate which is the default that OBS puts at to 48 kilohertz. Uh, it basically adds an extra few more frequencies and the sounds slightly more crispier, the sound, if you ask me. Now, in tradition of the very common game of Minecraft I play on this channel, here is a preview of what Minecraft Bedrock Edition looks like using these settings. So, just generally walking around in the world, it seems to be very nice. Hardly any drop frames at all. In fact, very smooth. Um, chopping down a tree here. Uh, still very smooth. Uh, once, twice, there's like a couple of drop frames, but hardly noticeable. Flying about at a lowish level. A little bit more drop frames, but it's still alright. Now, flying about uh, without rain. Uh, seems to be a couple bit more dropped frames here. Now, when you're sprinting and flying up quite high, both at the same time, uh, you can start to notice quite a f bit more dropped frames, as we see here. Yeah, it's getting quite choppy here. Um, let's go ahead and go down to this village right here. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, when we're not flying, uh, it's a very smooth, uh, very smooth recording. I, uh, yeah. We could probably uh, reduce the uh, choppiness of the uh, frame rate. We're probably not using uh, shaders, as that is making the game engine generate and use a lot more processing power. To, for the extra shadows and the uh, better lighting. Now I hope that you uh, managed to get your screen recording going pretty nice and smoothly. Um, if you liked this video, uh, leave a like and maybe even drop a comment if you've got some uh, other settings that you might work even better maybe. Uh, I would gladly like to know that. That's it for this video, and uh, peace out.